Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dirt Green Steel. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because you're going to enjoy this. So uh, we got the combines ready. I'm going to clean my windows real quick. Uh, we're getting a grain cart hooked to the 4955 over there. We are going to try to pick some corn this afternoon when it dries off a little bit. Uh, we think conditions are going to be fit. So uh, we've got the corn head on the gleaner. We're going to give it a try. Um, going to get it shined up and cleaned up and then uh, look for any other problems that we may have missed because this head's so dirty. But we think everything is good to go on it. So uh, Claire and Sausage have the gator out cruising around. So uh, anyways, I'm going to get my windows cleaned. We're going to wait about another hour or so. It's uh, getting breezy out and the sun's coming out. So uh, we're going to wait a little bit. We're going to run over the cornfield, see what the conditions are like, and uh, see if we can pick some corn. Um, I guess we're supposed to be getting an eight-row corn head for the new gleaner to try it out. So they figured they'd get us a corn head out here, and uh, we'd give that a try. So let's get started. Well, he's going to go put fuel in the grain cart. We're going to run in the shop real quick, grease it, check the gearboxes on it, and then uh, we're good to go. Semis are good to go. Everything's ready. So all we got to do is get to the field and start picking. Here we go. Hopefully everything goes good. Everything runs good. We're going to head to the field and start corn harvest 2020. I'm excited. I mean, I like I like cutting beans. Don't get me wrong, but it's always it's always exciting when you get to start corn. So, uh, it'll be the first year I've ever picked corn with a gleaner. First time in a long time that I've known it to actually have corn head on it. Um, I know for at least the last 20 years, it's never picked corn. It was always a always a bean machine. The guy that had it before me had a. Uh, had a 1688 case, and I'm not sure what he had before then, but he always uh, ran two machines. One stayed in the beans, and one stayed in the corn, and it was always the L2 and the beans. I know that at one time he had a six-row gleaner head for this machine, but the whole time I ever knew of it, it always sat in the weeds. So, uh, it's been a long time since it's picked any corn, so pretty excited. Gonna make history with this machine since it hasn't picked corn in a long, long time. So we're going to get to the field and get started. Well, we got to move to the field. Dad started picking corn. I'm going to make a few small adjustments on the gleaner, and then I'm going to give it a shot. So let's see what happens. Well, we're picking some corn at the gleaner now. Pretty excited. Doing pretty good. I think the head's running a hair fast. I need to adjust that yet, but other than that, it's going real good. I'm happy with it. Drain's pretty damn clean. So I'm gonna pick for a while and shine this head up. This head's kind of rusty, so it's kind of causing some head shell, I feel. So, uh, and the conditions are a little wet yet today. Uh, the butts of the ears are pretty tough. They're still a little tough. The grain's a little wet. So uh, we're going to pick uh, a couple hoppers here and do some tests. See what we got. So. Got to get through where Dad went around the surface drain. But so far I'm happy with it. Everything's running good. Got some nice corn out here. There's some nice big ears. Well, now we're coming up to the high spot, but the low spots are real nice. So 
I'm gonna pick for a while and then uh, we'll make some more video here in a little bit. picking corn for the day picked a semi and a half full and uh, the bearing on the end of my clean grain auger and my grain tank locked up and uh, that was it so kind of pulled over on the, the auger shaft and pulled the uh, bearing in the auger out of the tin work in there and so it's gonna have to go to the shop we'll fix it tonight so we got a semi full so I'm gonna go run it in the elevator get it unloaded and then uh, come back and probably take another semi full and just let dad keep picking so but corn head is working awesome no problems runs great it shined up pretty good the more it shined up the better it fed so uh, I'm, I'm happy I can call this a success it was a very successful uh, conversion, so definitely happy with it. So I'm going to unload and I'm going to head to the elevator. Well, made it to the elevator, just waiting now to be unloaded. Uh, anxious to find out how they like uh, my new doors. Uh, this will be the first time that uh, I've had it here since we uh, fixed them. So anxious to see... Uh, what the response is to cranking easier my luck now they won't even open it'll just sit there and slip or something but ah they should open just fine we tested them and tested them so we'll see what happens so i just got back from the elevator and uh dad called me and said he's gonna run the other load in so uh he said go ahead and get the 1660 and pick while i'm gone that's okay so now I'm running 1660 till he gets back. And then when he gets back, I'm going to run the old L2 home, put it back in the shop, get that bearing fixed, get it all tore apart tonight so we can figure out what we need in the morning. Just looks like a common sealed uh, roller bearing in a uh, bearing flange, so it's no big deal. Should be something very easy to get at Napa or at any farm store, I would say. It's just a one-inch bearing. So I probably even have one on the shelf, so I'm pretty happy about that, that it's not something that's uncommon. I'm just going to have to plate the wall in there where when it when it uh, pulled on the wall, it pulled the bolts out. So I'm uh, going to have to do something with that, but that's no big deal. That's fixable. So uh, good looking corn through here. Real good looking corn. So. The cleaner should be fixable with no problems. And we'll be back running it tomorrow. Oh, there's a surface drain right here. Okay. I have to back up. So anyways, I'm going to pick around this surface drain and I'm going to get picking in some good long rows and we'll get some more video. shop leave him run the cart for a while um, I run back to the shop and uh, I'm gonna start tearing the old leaner part so we can get it tore down tonight and uh, not have to work so late on it but uh, I will say that I am very happy with the performance of the cleaner in the corn uh, for being a 
40 some year old combine it sure has a clean grain sample and I'm only running the top screen in it I do not have a bottom screen for it I was pretty impressed with that that uh, didn't didn't really need it blanked out spot because it was so wet this spring through here so we need to put a tile through that spot but uh, anyways I, I'm happy with it uh, it sure uh, sure eats corn like it does soybeans I, I'm pretty impressed with it so uh, I'm gonna get it fixed I want to get it back out in the field and uh, pick some more corn so uh, they even uh, complimented me at the elevator on the clean grain sample that came out of it so I was pretty happy with that I'd like to get some gleaners back in this area. I'd like to get some newer ones over this way. Uh, they're kind of rare to see around here. And that's why I kind of brought that new one over too, was so that other farmers could see it and see that there are advantages to the gleaners. So, uh, so anyways, I think that's going to be the end of this video. We got plenty of footage, I think, of today for the first day of uh, 2020 corn harvest. So, uh, uh, get this video edited get it on the on the old youtube so if you haven't subscribed go ahead and click that button thanks for watching and i will see you on the next one